All right, I'm about to test this oversized mini uh, trainer. Um, I just uh, gonna give it a go and see if it flies. Seems about good on the balance there. I'll check my stuff, my junk, my, my AETR, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, uh, let's see. Up is up, down is down, left is left, right is right, throttle. Oh yeah. Whew, throttle down a little actually. Uh, let's see. It's wanting to bank hard one way. Trim it out a little bit here. Quite a bit, actually. And it wants to tend, it tends to go uh, down a little, so let me adjust that a little. Good flyer, man. Straight and true. Can't beat that. I've just got it on very partial throttle. I'm kind of curious how long I can fly for because I don't want to end the combat before my battery dies. But yeah, no, that's a good stable plane right there. I'll take that any day. Don't take much throttle. Tell you what, the wing's got a lot of lift. So this is a tiny trainer that I upsized to be uh, just so that the wing, half a wing, would fit on a full sheet of foam board. So I don't know. That gave me a 50-something inch wingspan, or maybe 52. I don't know. So the wing was slightly smaller than the sheet but you know you can't go off the edge but, uh, good flyer man Let's see what time of flight time I get out of this thing I'll give it a little bit of gas it's got a uh, um, CPAC motor in it 2200 milliamp hour uh, three cell so, yeah, it's got some climbing capability. It can be aerobotic. It rolls fairly decently. Not bad. I'm just gonna leisure fly because I wanna see what kind of flight time I get. For this is a combat. And of course I'll decorate this thing. It's it's just white foam board right now, but I want to try it out before I covered it in I'll probably cover it in uh in uh boxing tape, colored boxing tape. I don't think I'll be painting this thing. This I literally threw this together in one evening. So yeah, you guys saw on the pictures that the tail was a little crooked. I don't care. I just literally threw this thing together because I'm gonna tear it up anyways probably in the combat. So I just I reinforced it with some carbon fiber rods in the in the wing and the tail and the leading edge of the wing also. So yeah, literally a pretty boring flight, but I just want to get my battery time down. buzz by so you can actually see it because I know this camera doesn't work very well it doesn't zoom very well do some close flying what a great plane 
now that I know why they call it a trainer. I don't have near the dihedral that I think you're supposed to have on this wing. I don't care much for the way they uh, set the dihedral on their wings where they just bend it up and slab some glue in there and hope it'll hold. It really needs a, a spar to keep that dihedral. But, uh, you know, so it sagged on me a little even after I glued it and it's pretty much almost a straight shot, but it still flies good. You can see a little bit of dihedral in it, but not much. But yeah, man, super easy plane to fly. The uh, mini trainer, I think they call it. So I used the sport wing on it, not the one with the extra extensions on the end of it. And even with the sport wing, I find it pretty stable airplane. Got it at what half throttle, literally. So, it'll be a little heavier when I put on the tape, but not much. May have to change the CG again. Evasive maneuver! Down low, evasive maneuver! There's a wing coming after me. Gotta, you know, prepare yourself mentally for the combat. I've never been in a combat, but it ought to be interesting. This thing will fly all day. If it survives combat, maybe I'll make it prettier. make another one and make it do a good job on it. It's such a good trainer. When my daughter ever decides to fly, maybe she can uh, fly one of these. Hmm. Might have been a little bit of drop in the battery there. to put me on a battery monitor so like my radio can tell me what the battery level is. I'm literally just keeping it on half throttle. Which is probably, you know, what will happen out in the field unless I'm trying to avoid somebody. Just fly around at half throttle, try to take a couple of people out. Let me see how low I can fly. Cut the grass. Wow, what a stable bird. It helps that uh, it's not really windy today at all. I mean like one mile an hour wind if that. But yeah, a little bit of uh, aileron trim in this and the elevator is just a tiny bit and this thing's off and take going. <clears throat> Didn't take much. I'm using the video to time the flight, so maybe ridiculously long video, depending on how long my battery lasts here. It's starting to wind down. Probably keep it kind of high now because I don't want the battery to die when I'm low to the ground.
Oh yeah, battery's coming down, definitely. Probably gonna have to land pretty soon. It gives me a good idea though. Oh, there it goes. Battery just dropped. It's land or crash. Let's see if this will dead stick in. Oh yeah. Good floater too. Well, there you go.